Hello and welcome to Daily Vision Bible, MRB 8. Yesterday God made Joshua lead of the Israelites. Today we will hear of Joshua sent spies into Jericho, and how a woman of low birth enabled those spies to escape. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Joshua the son of Nun secretly sent two men and his sister and spies, saying, Go. The land, including Jericho. They went and came into the house of a prostitute, whose name was Rahab, and slept there. The king of Jericho was told, Look, men of the children of Israel came in here tonight to spy out the land. Jericho's king sent to Rahab, saying, Bring out the men who have come to you, who have entered into your house, for they have come to spy out all the land. The woman took the two men and hid them. Then she said, Yes, the men came to me, but I didn't know where they came from. At the time of the shutting of the gate, when it was dark, the men went out. Where the men went, I don't know. Pursue them quickly. You might catch up with them. But she had brought them up to the roof, and hid them under the stalks of flax, which she had laid in order on the roof. The men pursued them along the way to the fords of the Jordan River. As soon as those who pursued them had gone out, they shut the gate. Before they had lain down, she came up to them on the roof. She said to the men, I know that Yahweh has given you the land, and that the fear of you has fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land that melt away before you. We have heard how Yahweh dried up the water of the Amsoth before you, when you came out of Egypt, and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites, who were beyond the Jordan, to Shion and to Og, whom you utterly destroyed. As soon as we heard it, our hearts melted, and there wasn't any more spirit in any man, because of you. For Yahweh your God, he is God in heaven, above, and on earth beneath. Now therefore, please swear to me by Yahweh, since I have dealt kindly with you, that you will also deal kindly with my father's house, and give me a true sign, that you will save alive my father, my mother, my brothers, and my sisters, and all that they have. I will deliver our lives from death. Men said to her, Our life for yours. If you don't talk about this business of ours, and it shall be, when you all gives us the land, that we will deal kindly and truly with you. And then she let them down by a cord for the window, for her house was on the side of the wall, and she lived on the wall. She said to them, Go to the mountain, in case the pursuers find you. Hide yourselves there three days, until the pursuers are returned. Afterward you may go your way. Etc. We will remember the promise you have made us make to you. Watch, when we come into the land, tie this line of scarlet thread in the window, which you used to let us down. Go to yourself into the house, your father, your mother, your brothers, and all your father's household. It shall be that whoever goes after the doors of your house into the street, his blood will be on his head, and we will be guiltless. Whoever is with you in the house, his blood shall be on our head, if any hand is on him. If you talk about this business of ours, then we shall be guiltless of your oath, which you've made us swear. She said, Let it be as you have said. Sent them away, and they departed. Then she tied the scarlet line in the window. They went and came to the mountain, and stayed there three days, until the pursuers had returned. The pursuers sought them all along the way, but did not find them. Then the two men returned, descended from the mountain, crossed the river, and came to Joshua the son of Nun. They told him all that had happened to them. They said to Joshua, Truly Yahweh has delivered all the land into our hands. Moreover, all the inhabitants of the land melt away before us. <laughs>